Greetings viewers, today we are delving into the intricate world of neuroplasticity, the brain's remarkable capacity to reorganize itself. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for more in-depth scientific content. Let's dive in. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to undergo structural and functional changes, driven by experience, learning and environmental stimuli. Contrary to prior beliefs, the brain remains malleable throughout life, adapting to new changes. Now let's explore the mechanisms by which daily activities influence neuroplasticity and subsequently impact behavior and habits. Engaging in novel experiences such as learning new skills or information induces synaptic plasticity. This process involves strengthening or weakening the connections between neurons, known as synapses. Practices like mindfulness and meditation contribute to neuroplasticity by modulating neurotransmitters like gamma aminobutyric acid and glutamate. This balance fosters a receptive neural environment promoting adaptive changes. Regular physical exercises stimulate the release of neurotrophic factors such as brain-derived neurotrophic factor BDNF, fostering neuroplasticity and cognitive enhancement. Let's now discuss how neuroplasticity can be harnessed to rewire habits backed by neuroscience. Neurogenesis, the formation of new neurons, occurs throughout life. Increased neurogenesis, facilitated by activities like learning, promotes the rewiring necessary for habit modification. The brain's reward system, driven by dopamine pathways, plays a pivotal role in habit formation by associating positive reinforcement with desired behavior changes. We strengthen the neural circuits responsible for these habits. Altering habits involves structural changes in brain regions like the prefrontal cortex. Consistent, gradual changes stimulate synaptic tuning and dendritic branching, contributing to the formation of new habit-related neural networks. In summary, neuroplasticity is an intricate process rooted in synaptic plasticity, neurotransmitter modulation, and neurotrophic support. By understanding these mechanisms, we can strategically incorporate activities that optimize neuroplasticity, fostering positive behavioral changes in our day-to-day -day life. If you appreciated this scientific exploration, give it a thumbs up, share it, and comment below with your scientific inquiries or future topics that you'd like us to explore. Until our next neuroscience journey, keep expanding those neural networks. Thank you for watching.